Hi Alex, uh, you wrote to me asking about plants and fasciitis. So this is what I find uh, interesting. We will speak a bit spatially. So plantar fascia begins here on the calcaneal bone, comes down and gives the sheet to every toe. Some anatomy books say the metatarsal of head. Some say the intermediate phalange. You will work. I propose all this way. And there's an inner band and the lateral band. All right. So what I recommend if client was uh, lying on the back the other way, either lie superficially, reflexology-wise you are in the most superficial part of his back, remember that? So lie and ask for any, wherever you find any tension, either sheer low back pain or the higher up, you know what to do. Ask about and we're of course on the right foot. And the The other way is holding it down, gliding up. Kay Sainsbury has also an article somewhere on the net that she's hearing. She goes in. So much slower. This is the way to do it. And I will ask for him to bend. So he's adding extra tension. So while he's doing it by himself, he is in control also. So firm, but superficially, and it's anything to do with the back. The back, and we are reflexologists on that. Facially speaking, it makes a connection into the periosteum, picks up on Achilles, and Anthony Porter said, I remember in the course with that it's the adrenal reflex, so check it out if it uh, kicks or not. And what we'll I find is on the other side, Observe if the Achilles is making plantar flexion. Push it. Of course, you're seeing it the upside down, but doesn't matter. And the way we have the feet here, observe the Achilles tendon. If it's too tight or not, then examine what's going on with the gastrocnemius and the, the posterior group. It's superficial, hamstrings bending over, not maybe cramping. Thank you. 